Hello, my name is Christina Ranzi. I'm an academic developer at the University of Salford uh, in the UK and I'm the programme leader of the, of the postgraduate certificate in academic practice which is offered uh, here to staff at the university and leads to a recognised teaching qualification in higher education and fellowship of the Higher Education Academy. I would like to share with you today some of my thoughts uh, on the feedback approach we are using on the programme uh, and what impact I think it has uh, on student learning. The programme is based around collaborative learning uh, and as such it's embedded deeply and uh, broadly uh, within all aspects uh, of the programme and that includes uh, feedback which is provided by tutors and peers and encourages open and ongoing conversations around learning. We are using a social media e-portfolio to enable collaborative learning and provide feedback uh, to our students but also enable them uh, to provide feedback to each other and connect with, um, with other practitioners uh, outside the programme uh, within the institutions but also worldwide. I would like to briefly focus on four important characteristics um, of our feedback uh, that has an impact on student learning and tutor learning. Number one is caring. Feedback is a great opportunity to show our students that we do care about them uh, as learners and that we support them uh, in their learning. Um, we need to show that we empathize with their struggles and that we are there for them to support them uh, to overcome any, any barriers they have and uh, feedback is a great way of, uh, of achieving this. Number two is motivating, recognizing small and larger uh, achievements made by our students through providing feedback uh, using a motivational and positive language. Um, this will help our students to uh, increase their self-belief um, and will be able to boost their self-confidence so they feel more able um, to do even greater things. Number three is connecting. It's connecting with our students who are providing feedback, um, connecting with their work, with their thinking, with their reflections. Um, this is really important to gain a better understanding what uh, our students are feeling, what our students are going through, um, how they are developing and how they are growing as practitioners um, in higher education. Um, the feedback we provide as tutors is valuable um, during their journey, um, but we also engage peers in providing feedback and support um, to each other. Uh, beyond that, many of um, our students uh, open up their portfolios and engage in wider uh, convers learning conversations with colleagues from within the university but also outside. And number four is learning. Uh, learning through, um, through the feedback conversations we have with our students, it's not just learning for the learner, for the student, but also I feel that I learn a lot through the conversations that I have um, with my students, ongoing conversations throughout uh, a module. Frank Caulfield said in 2008, and I'm going to read this, we need to know our students' background, their music, their enthusiasms, their prior learning experiences, if we wish to enthuse them with what enthuses us. And this is what we are trying to achieve to the ongoing conversations around learning we have within our social media e-portfolios. We see feedback as an opportunity to get to know our students, to learn in partnership and shape the future together through encouraging and cultivating positive learning relationships.